Hello everyone and welcome to Money Week 2. We're going to be carrying on a little bit from what we did last week and I've got my friend here to help me. Say hello to Percy Pig. He's back again. Give him a wave. I wonder if you can help us. Percy Pig's feeling a bit sad, aren't you Percy? Yes, he is sad because the Tooth Fairy has come and he's come to him and he gave him a pound. But he came to his brother Peter and he gave him 50p. Now Pete, Percy Pig's sad because he thinks Peter's got more than him. Has Peter got more than him? Percy says Peter must have more than him because look, his coin is much bigger than Percy's. What do you need to tell Percy? Yes, it doesn't matter that the size of the coin is bigger. It's the value that we're really worried about here. Percy, look, you've got a pound. That's worth two 50 piece. 50 and 50 makes 100. There's 100 pence in that pound. So you've got more than Peter. Don't be sad. Go and take your money away and spend it on something nice. Hey, Percy's been sent to the shop. He's got to buy two pieces of fruit for his mum for tea. So he decides he's going to buy the grapes, they're 6p, and the pear, that's 2p. Okay, now he's got to add them up and see how much they'll cost all together. See if he can give them the right money. Okay, here we Lots go. Lots of you will be able to add two and six up by yourselves. If you're not quite sure, you can get something to help you. Percy has got some pasta. That's going to help him to, be, to count. So he's going to add two and six. Hmm, let's see. Oh, Percy, what should you really add, take first? That's right, Percy. It's better to have the bigger number first, because then it's easier to add. You know you've already got six. So you only have to add on two, six, seven, eight. Slightly easier like that, although it doesn't really matter. Today, we're also going to write them down. So you need to write them down for your mum so that she knows how much you've uh, spent. So you had six, that's for the grapes, 6p. And then we had to add them together. So we remember the add sign, it goes like this add and then we're going to have two two pence for the pair so we're going to write two p and what sign are we going to put next do you remember it's going to be the equal sign that means it's the same as so six add two is the same as eight p well done percy i think your mum's going to be very impressed with that Okay, now time for you to look at the PowerPoint. 